Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Uh, this here charger I have is the Thunder Power TP820 CD Dual Port Multi Chemistry Charger Discharger Balancing System. And I've gotten quite a few subscribers that have asked me questions about this. And they're a little leery about a lot of chargers because of the complexity of how to use them. And I'm going to show you right now, guys, how simple this is, okay, to set. We got here a Thunder Power 2250 45C battery, 3 cell. And I'm going to show you how quick it is to set these memory profiles. So when you turn it on, initially, this is the screen you're going to see. You're going to have port 1 is this one. Press the button, port 2 is going to be the other side we're not going to be worried about right now. You have 12 memories per port. All right. Now, when you're doing this, you kind of got to be quick, guys, because it blinks and it only gives you a few seconds to make your decision. No big deal. If it doesn't, if you can't get through it the first time, you just start over again. So we're on memory 1, and right now it's set to an LIFE 2-cell, uh, 2010 milliamp uh, 2.01 amps so we want to change that so the first thing we're going to do is get this blinking by pressing the enter button once and then pressing the enter button twice and now we're going to use the plus and minus to scroll through and we found lipo battery now we're going to hit it again this would make it go up and down the plus and minus we want three cell I'm going to hit it again. This would change what it is as far as milliamp. We want 2250. Then we're going to hit it again. And that, you're done. Okay. Now, Thunder Power chargers are awesome, guys. They automatically set the proper charge rate for you, which is 2.25 amps for a LiPo charge, 3 cell, and there you go. Now, if you want to charge it quicker and you want to change the, the amperage, simply, but basically the enter button and these two buttons are going to be all you're going to be using. So we're going to hit it. Okay, you got memory one blinking. Hit it again. Hit it again. That's three cell. Hit it again. And here. Now you would simply scroll up or scroll down to change that whatever number you want okay now it's set at 2.17 amps now say you forgot what originally you had it at and you want to go back to it if you simply just changed the milliamp again it'll automatically go back so one two three four and now we just change the milliamp and boom, it goes back to its original 2.25 amps. Very, very simple to use, guys. You saw how two seconds, to, to you know, and that's it. Um, now, if you want to go to another memory profile, you simply hit enter once. It starts blinking. Now you're on memory two. Okay. And this one's set for my 4500. Uh, 4.50 amps automatically set for you so it's know it's proper six cell now you want to go to memory three just simply up and down the plus and minus buttons guys and go all the way up to 12 if you go to the next one it'll after 12 it jumps back to one so this simply changes that for you okay very simple to use guys just a press of a button boom it starts blinking boom again if you want to change lipo back and forth with the plus minus next one three cells blinking plus or minus change that change your milliamps plus or minus change your amp rate plus or minus and it stops blinking and you're done now at any point guys if it stops blinking and you you say you didn't get a chance to put it in you just simply start over and go back and do it again all right I'll start a battery charging you start the battery charging by pressing enter now 
this battery started charging and it's on port 1. If you want to start charging the port 2 you have to press port button and it shoots you over to port 2 and now you would uh, you know same deal go back and whatever one you want and then you'd hit enter and start charging it and then if you want to jump back port 1 now the monitoring is awesome if you want to monitor what's going on right now you're at 32 seconds you can see that going up uh, simply the minus button once input voltage 27.54 this will not go back by itself guys so you don't have to worry okay you just hit it at your leisure next screen it's a lipo charge 3 cell it's been on for 55 seconds the temperature of the battery is 101 uh, the peak is 12.60 now you're gonna hit it again and now this screen is gonna show you your your cells you got uh, cell 1 4.19 uh, cell 2 4.19 cell 3 4.20 this battery's already been charged guys so I'm just showing this for demonstration purposes and over there is still letting you know that if you can see that one that you're at port one and simply the minus button again will bring you back to the main screen uh, okay and just so forth you press it at will okay and there you go whatever you want to see it'll show you one press of a button and that's it guys super simple to use takes the guesswork out of it for you uh, you know a little bit on the manual always read your manuals okay but as for basic charging and, and getting quick and getting set up and starting to charge and programming this is how simple it is guys I want to thank you for watching any questions let me know if you want any other videos about this put out about uh, any other uh, things it can do let me know thanks for watching guys